Yeah. Here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Front and center. It ain't no question. Look, I'm here. Uh, I'm here. Here I am. Y'all know why I'm here. I don't usually do this, but I felt like I need to do this one time. One time only to all my Laker family and, of course, to all of the Laker haters who have inboxed me, oh, my God, who have texted me, who have tagged me in your post. I'm going to do this one time and one time only. I will give you your satisfaction. As a Laker hater, I will give it to you. I, I'm here to entertain you today I, I, because you're wondering what some of you are wondering. What do I have to say about the obvious? Uh, you know, I, I could have waited and done this on Saturday, but I got some cowboy stuff that I need to talk about on tomorrow. So I'm not usually doing this during this time slot. So here I am. You know, I'm I'm here. Here I am. I'm going to get into you. I'm going to give some of you your satisfaction uh, today, I did this morning. It won't be long, but I'm going to do it. Welcome, everybody, to the Big Time Show podcast that is seen live on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter, and, of course, at the home base of the podcast, which is, of course, Podbean. Welcome to all of you. The same rules apply. I got to treat this like it's a regular show. I, I, I was thinking about just doing something on my personal page, but I'll just go ahead and do a little small podcast show about it. Uh, and since I'm doing it, then I have, of course, I have to give my my uh, respect and props to others. Of course, the music that you heard is from my guy, Alec uh, X Winters, that you can find him on Instagram. If you want to hear music like that, go to his page on Instagram, and I promise you, you'll hear even better stuff than what you heard coming in. Uh, so I appreciate you. Uh, I don't, I'm not used to this, so I don't know. Hey, what's what's up, Gary? I see you. E. Kush is on here. What's up, E. Kush? I see you. Uh, some other folks that are looking, they just ain't saying hello. So th- th- this is where a lot of of of, of haters and and fans have come out. To 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 jump into my misery, you understand? They, I haven't heard. I, you know, some folks that I heard from yesterday, I gotta admit, I haven't heard or 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 got a a, a thank you or nothing. I I I haven't heard. I haven't heard them. They haven't congratulated me on my birthday. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't say hello to my. They didn't say hello to to to, to nobody on my family. I had people to die in my family and, and I didn't get no condolences from them, but Lord have mercy when the Lakers lost. Oh, I didn't hear from folks. I, I thought some of y'all lost y'all Facebook accounts. I, I got, I'm serious. I, I, I haven't heard from, you. uh, and, and, but it's okay. People love to pounce on you. They just let me know how big, big of haters some people are. Uh, you know, they, they really not concerned. They just want to see me, uh, <laughs> suffering. All right. Hey, what, what's up? What, what, what's going on? Uh, Fred, what's up, Luke? I see you. Hey, appreciate you, Gary. No, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm not scared, y'all. I told you, I'm not scared. I, I stand and brag because I'm a fan, you know, I, I stand when we on top. Hey, and then I'll stand. Exactly, Chris. The hate is real. Ain't no doubt. I will stand when we fall. I, that's just me. I can take it. But please understand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, here, go, here come another hater. Here come Terrence. Then my little brother here, Terrence Thomas. All right, here he come. He, see, all, everybody, everybody just showing up. You see what I'm saying? I don't mind. I don't mind. Come on in. Come on in. I can take it. I'm built for it. You you have to remember, I come from a place where the Lakers in the eighties, and that's when I was really, you know, I come from a place where the Lakers were losing eighties to Boston 
and Bird and Mikhail. So that hate was real, you know, real. You know, compared to this, you know, I come from an area where it really legitimately hurt to see the Lakers lose in the finals. Uh, and this hurts too. I gotta I gotta admit it. I I I have to admit it, this hurts, but I, I, I'm built for this. So let me go ahead and give you my synopsis. Let me give you give you my analysis, my whatever, my opinion to the whole thing. Now we're on the big time show now. Now, if I was just on my regular page, I'd be coming from you from a fan perspective. Okay. All right. But since this is the Big Time Show podcast, and I'm being heard on Podbean, which is where uh, God only knows where I'm being heard, I have to come, you know, a little more analytical. Okay, I, I, I see all the I, yeah, 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 yeah. See Gary there, yeah, they have, yeah, exactly, yeah. You right, Gary. Let me start off by this. Let's just deal with the facts. The Los Angeles Lakers got destroyed. Let, let's let's just let's just start it off. Let, I mean, this is the big time show podcast. We have to be factual, okay? I, I'm I'm the one of the biggest Los Angeles Lakers fans, no question. It, everybody know that. Matter of fact, I'm wearing my shirt. I I wore it for the last time. I'm wearing this. I'm gonna go ahead and retire this T-shirt. All right, because it's old now. I say 2020 champions I, I wore i wore it just for you so you can laugh at me i ain't put my ring on from last year see that i got my ring on because this is the last time i'm gonna wear it because we are no longer your world champions those are the facts okay those are the facts. we got destroyed there's no other way to look at it we big ups to phoenix i i look you can't deny it. devin booker incredible incredible look like he couldn't miss at all the last two games he just he single-handedly took this series by the throat and said look i'm about to put an end to this that's what david booker said chris paul went down he's not the same chris paul shoulder hurt david booker said all right it's my time now i'm gonna go ahead and gonna do something to these guys and I'm going to make sure everybody know exactly who I am. I give nothing but respect to Devin Booker. I, I know I would not say anything wrong about him. Aiden showed up. Chris Paul playing hurt showed up. No doubt about it. Uh, I'm happy for the Memphis kid from here from Memphis, Tennessee, Cameron Payne, uh, who showed up big time in the back of point guard position. Phoenix did what they were supposed to do. They beat our brains out. Is that what y'all haters want me to say? This is the big time show podcast. Got to be factual. They did. They whooped us. They whipped. They whipped us. They did. They beat us. But y'all hate for the Los Angeles Lakers, and in particular, LeBron James is just incredible. It is. It, it's incredible, y'all. 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 Y'all hate. Y'all hate so much. That that you guys uh, are are being actually choosing to be uh, blind and not logical at times when it comes to the Lakers of this year. Here are the facts. Now y'all can say whatever you want to say, and I'm not saying it what it is. <laughs> the Lakers were injured. That's not an excuse. Those are the facts. Y'all saw about uh y'all saw Anthony Davis. I ain't got to say nothing. Y'all y'all saw it. I mean, come on now, come on now. He he was hurt. Okay, let's let's just deal with it. He was hurt. Okay, he he was hurt. LeBron James. I know y'all see him on the court, but he he's hurt. Dealing with a bad ankle. He's hurt. So. <clears throat> This is not really the Los Angeles Lakers. Y'all know that, okay? Let's just, if you're not going to be factual, then, you know, God bless you. Go on and enjoy your bacon and, and, and biscuit or whatever you got, and y'all catch me tomorrow. But over here, we got to be, you know, we got to be a little bit uh, 
you know, factual. So let's get first thing. The Los Angeles Lakers are not a seventh seed as they were. The reason why they were a seventh seed because they were injured pretty much the last portion of the year. LeBron missed a month. Anthony Davis missed about four weeks. The Los Angeles Lakers lost, which means that they dropped all the way to a seventh seed. You and I know that if the Lakers would have been healthy, you know the Lakers would have been at least a top two to three seed in the in the West. We all know that. It just call it like it is. So therefore, Phoenix really did what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to beat us like this. Uh, Anthony Davis had no business on the floor at all last night. As soon as the tip-off went on, he was already holding his groin. Come on now. He shouldn't even been out there. I don't know why they, you know, it, I guess because he got talked about so bad by Charles Barkley and, and you know, a few other guys. But Barkley is the one everybody talking about because he gave him a new nickname. He called him Street Clothes. <laughs> he said, because every time you see him, he wearing street clothes. He ain't never in the game. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, but it's really just the truth. Uh, he, he was hurt. They did what they were supposed to do, y'all. The, the Phoenix beat our brains out. They they did, okay? They did. I, I got no problem with it. LeBron got trapped. Y'all wanted, y'all put all this pressure on LeBron. Uh, I, I said in order for us to win, LeBron had to have be the Cleveland Miami LeBron in order for us to win. When I say that, I'm saying he had to have 30, 33, you know, between 33 and 35 points every game. Uh, you know, 12, 13 rebounds, you know, possible double digit assists. That's the only way we were going to win. But everybody kept forgetting that LeBron was hurt too. Oh, I know y'all saw him running down the court and all that. You know, but we're not saying that he was an invalid. But but his ankle he is hurt, y'all. Y'all y'all forgot that. And for those of us that had ankle injuries before, yeah, you can play on eighty five percent and and wrap your ankle up real good and actually take a shot there if need be. But let's just call it what it is. When you have an ankle sprain, y'all y'all know it's, it don't you don't get better. It gets worse until it gets fully healed. <clears throat> so LeBron wasn't his best, but he he fought, he struggled, uh, but he was there. However, since I am not a LeBron James fan, and if you've been hanging with me for a long time, you already know I'm a Laker fan. My, I'm concerned about the name on the front of the jersey than the name on the back of the jersey. If you know me, I'm not a LeBron James fan. I never have been. However, I do not deny his greatness. Make no mistake about it. He is great. You don't put the kind of things that he put up, the numbers and the accomplishments, and then act like that he's not great. He's great. In my opinion, and many will agree, that he is the greatest small forward to ever play the game. In other words, he's the greatest number three. The number three position, the small forward, he's better than Larry Bird, as my opinion. He don't have the killer instinct of Larry Bird, but that don't, but that don't qualify him as the best. LeBron James is the greatest small forward to ever play the game. LeBron James arguably is a top five player of all time. They, they, that ain't, there's nothing changed about that. He he is nothing changed about that. He is a generational player. Guys like him don't come around but once every 20, 25, you know, years. He's different. He's different. Uh, no question. So none of his legacy, you know, is that. I never said he was the greatest of all time in the first place. So, uh, you know, I, all the folks that say he's the GOAT and all that, that you know, I, I never got with that. However. What separates the goats, or if you want to say that, um, from 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 the real great players or the good players is this: 
It is that mentality. I was very irritated with LeBron James last night. You know why? It was not because of uh, the end. It was because of what I saw him do in the second half of the game. He made a decision that I'm about to go ahead and just go on, take the game in my own hands and drive to the hole and do all these layups and score instead of standing outside thinking I'm Steph Curry and want to shoot jumpers all day long. I'm going to go ahead and go to my strength and drive to the hole and do all that. He couldn't be stopped. They couldn't stop him from getting there. The only way he was stopped unless he missed the layup himself. I was very irritated because the game called for that type of effort the whole game, the first half. In the entire first half, he really irritated me because he was passing the ball nonstop. My goodness, A.D., who I wasn't counting on in the first place, A.D. was already gone. Some should have had clicked right then and there. Somebody should have said right then and there in his head, all right, we got to go to work. Devin Booker is shooting the lights out. Devin Booker can't miss a shot. Devin Booker got 22 points in the first quarter. I I I don't I don't I don't I see you coming, E. Kush. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll come back to that in just a second. But the game called for LeBron to whatever he got. Your back is against the wall. Whatever you got in the tank, it need to happen right now. And him trying to set people up, uh, guys shooting the ball can't hit a shot. That that set the wrong tone. He came in the second half, set the right tone, and they got back in the ball game. But they were so far behind that when they chopped it down to 12 and all that kind of stuff, game pretty much was over. I was irritated because he didn't set the right tone. And, and that's the problem I've always had with LeBron when they say the greatest. A lot of part of when you say you're the greatest of all time, the mentality is a part of that equation. The mentality, the Kobe's, of course, the Michael Jordans, they had that that mentality that that always on destroy mode. LeBron never has had that. His talent is so great, though, that he can naturally put in 28 to 30 points a game, but he could do that just by natural talent that extra kill of the mentality that he has shown a couple of times. He has shown it a couple of times, but consistently, no, I needed that LeBron in the second half. I needed that in the first half. And because of that, we got, we got destroyed. Let me go to E. Kush and then I'll go to the other legs and I'll let you guys go. Kush said, I noticed people are starting to get more detail with their Braun praises because before it was greatest of all time, now it's greatest small forward. Then it was greatest of this generation. People are starting to backpedal. Well, I've been consistent in mine. I've been consistent in mine. LeBron James is a top five player of all time. I've always said that. However, he is, is no question. At least in my mind, he is the greatest small forward to ever play the game. If you were to pick an all-time five by position, there's no other small forward that you will put above LeBron James. And the only person that's even in this conversation is maybe Larry Bird, and that's it. It's not Dr. J. Is I mean, I mean, after Dr. J, who you gonna call out as a small forward? That those are the real two guys that mostly everybody have always said. They said it was Bird. LeBron is better than Bird. He's not the killer that Larry Bird was. He's not the killer that Larry Bird was. I, I if you never saw Larry Bird play, those of you that are a little younger, I'm sorry. I saw Larry Bird play. He was not the killer of Larry Bird. He couldn't shoot the ball like Larry Bird. 
But LeBron James overall is better than Larry Bird. He is the greatest small forward to ever play. You cannot – well, I don't know. Uh, it is. He is without a doubt the greatest player of this generation. They, they, I, I don't even know. I, Barkley, uh, Tavis Barkley played uh, pretty much played the four. He played the power forward position. <clears throat> And LeBron has been in Charles Barkley, so I mean that 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 ain't worth talking about. Uh, I, all around, I think that uh, it, it just got he just got too much. You know, it, you know, it, you you know, it's an argument because the the, the era that the, that the bird played in to put up those type of numbers back when guys were killing each other coming in the lane and hand checking and we're putting your elbows and people back, you know, it's a big difference. And I, and I'm not a fool to say that LeBron played in that type of area. He didn't. Uh, but as far as this generation, there is no question that LeBron James is the greatest player of the last 20 years. No question. No question. Please don't give me Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant got a few more years to go before he can even get in this conversation. So I don't I don't even want to hear that. LeBron James is the greatest player this this generation, no question. Uh, uh, I I will say that we can't knock his legacy. He got too much on his resume to 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 bag up and say that he's he's that guy. So I, y'all y'all Laker haters, y'all you know you can keep hating. LeBron haters keep hating. When you finish talking, you can't deny what this man have done. And I ain't no LeBron fan, <clears throat> but you'll be you'll be halfway kind of insane to deny the obvious. I mean, it's, I mean, it is what it is. The man is great, a walking Hall of Famer, first ballot, unanimous will go in. He's great. All right, let me get to the other stuff because y'all, 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 we having a different discussion. Let me talk to y'all about at the beginning of the year. Okay. Hey, well, bro, Coleman said he done belong conversation with Bird and that generation of players, though. See, bro, Coleman, we saw the '80s. You see what I'm saying? If you did, if you was, yeah, if you, if you look, if you're not old enough to remember the '80s, and and the way I, I would give credence to bro Coleman and what he says there about Bird, <clears throat> because it was a different game. And the numbers that Larry Bird put up and the way he played the game in that era, you know, the only way you will say that is, okay, if I put LeBron back in 1984 and 1985, would he do the same things that he's doing now in this generation? We'll never know that. Okay. Uh, You can make a good estimation, uh, but I will say this, and I believe I'm safe in saying this. That if Larry Bird played in this generation, the prime Larry Bird, Larry Bird would score 60 points a game. <laughs> now, if I put LeBron in 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 his era, in Bird's era, in Magic Johnson era, I, I don't think LeBron would score 28, 29 points a game. I, I I'll say that. With the way the rules are now, you can't touch nobody. Larry Bird was look. If y'all going crazy, I'm just sorry for some of y'all that didn't see him. Cause Larry Bird was the truth. I mean, I love. Look, I didn't like Bird. He was a Celtic. Okay, L- listen, Larry Bird. If y'all going crazy over Steph Curry, let, let 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 me let me let me let me educate some of you guys. Let me tell you something. If Larry Bird was playing in this generation, and his prime. With the way that he could shoot the ball, Larry Bird would score. All, I'm, I'm I'm not exaggerating. If Steph Curry led the league in scoring this year, what at 32 points a game or something like that? Let, let, look, Larry Bird was with average. I ain't say score, average, 40 points a game. He was that lethal. So I I I I, I say that he. I'm still saying he's the best small forward to ever play the game, though, bro. Cole. I'm sorry about that. I I seen enough of 
LeBron for t- almost 20 years. Uh, I, I have to agree with that. Uh, exactly, bad boys. Uh, exactly, Tavis ain't the bad boys, Detroit. Oh, man, they were thugs on the court. I mean, they're, they're brutalizing. Michael Jordan used to – Michael Jordan did what he had to do, but he knew he was in for a long night. <laughs> Whenever he saw Detroit, he knew he was going to get beat up. He knew it. Uh, he said, but LeBron would average 10-plus a season. He'd be a point guard, I believe. Same way we talk about matches. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that assessment, Gary. Let me put that up so y'all can see that. If LeBron played in that era back in the day, he would be Magic Johnson all over again. If you remember Magic, Magic wasn't known as a great scorer, but Magic won three MVPs in his career by scoring only 20 some odd points. LeBron would have, you know, possibly the same type of numbers Magic would have, especially in the assist uh, category. He would do that. He's 6'9", he would rebound. He would do that. Uh, no question. I agree with that. LeBron could play in that era. He just wouldn't be the best player in the game uh, like he's been – touted now uh without a doubt uh but anyway let me talk to y'all about the beginning of the year do y'all remember this when the lakers first started this year of course ad and lebron were healthy we all talked about and most analysts talked about kyle kuzma being the third option saying that if the lakers were gonna win kyle kuzma had to take another step and become the guy let me go on just kill all this I'm still waiting. Where is Kyle Kuzma at, man? Where is he? Because there's an APB that I done sent out. I sent out an APB last night for Kyle Kuzma. I, I, I I'm irritated with Kyle Kuzma is not the guy. Okay, so we can we can go ahead and throw that into the garbage can. I'm talking future now. We got our brains beat out last night. We got beat up for the series. Phoenix destroyed us. I'm looking at the future now. I'm going to let y'all go in a minute. Kuzma is Kuzma is worried about looking in the mirror and making sure that he's prettier than his girlfriend. I said it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one day you look at Kuzma, his hair is bleached blonde. Looking like Ric Flair by the head. The next day is black, jet black. Looking like he a member of the DeBarge family. I don't know what he want to be. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he want to do. I, I don't know. When he come in, the hair camera, the guys coming in, he, he purposely dresses like, uh, yeah, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I ain't going to go that route, but I let Chris, because he's a great checker. Chris said, y'all see what he said there. Yeah, that. I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't know what, I, one thing about it, <laughs> Tavis ain't looking like squash. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what, did he hit any shot last night? Did, I mean, I saw he was launching them. Yeah, yeah, Gary, you seen him. I don't know what the cow is. I, I, I mean, I'm going to let Gary, but. Well, I mean, bro, Coleman, he he showed glimpses. Okay, he's a street shooter. He hit a few of them good. He has the talent, but the mindset ain't there. And and when he don't, when he don't hit nothing, it's like his whole body language is gone. And and he just maybe it's because you know when you're a Laker, you get heightened. Uh, expectations. Maybe that's what it is, and and maybe maybe that's what it was. But I I ain't seen Kyle Kuzma hit a shot all year. I, I mean, meaningful shots. I I ain't seen it, and so we need to just erase that. Kyle Kuzma not that guy. Uh, Frank Vogel, my coach. He he needs to be talked about too. This is the reason why. Why in the world are you going to sit Montrez Harrell in favor of Mark Gasol? I, 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 I'm not an NBA coach. I haven't watched the film that they've watched. But I think that's kind of – Mark Gasol can't guard a kindergarten person right now. 
You too slow. You too slow. I mean, what Montrez, no, he's not tall as Aiden, but he got the type of energy that you're going to need. To keep it going, Montrez is a dog. He brings attitude to the team. Why is he sitting over there on the bench uh, last game? Not 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 yesterday, but the last game. And then Montrez, the guy out there, Montrez was upset because he want, wanted to play. So so to keep everybody happy, you star Montrez, and you see a little small difference in the game without a doubt. Montrez plays a little bit better. He can't shoot like a saw uh, from outside, but we don't need him out there anyway. The rotations were horrible. I didn't get that from my coach. I didn't. I didn't understand that. It was ridiculous, from what I'm saying. I, I didn't like it at all. So I, I, that that part need to be done. Dennis Schroeder, whose contract is up, and he's already put something out this morning saying that he wants to be running back next year with the Lakers. Uh, and he and money is not an issue. If you if you if you just check it out, if you're a Laker fan, news already came out. He want to run it back, and money is not an issue. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't. I we can't get rid of everybody, uh, but uh, you know the Lakers. If we're talking about winning, okay. If we're talking about winning, now we're just talking about, you know, putting a respectable team out, then okay. But if we're talking about winning, and I'm talking, I ain't talking about a division championship, I'm talking about a world's championship. If we're talking about winning the title, then we're going to have to make a move. Okay? we That's the only way we're going to get back. Oh, uh, Tavis, you're right. Tavis just put up a key thing. Tavis said it's up to LeBron if he wants that. It's up to it. Look, everybody should know by now the roster is built by LeBron James. That happened in Cleveland. That uh, partially happened in Miami uh, because partially, partially. Uh, and, and Coleman said Lakers bench is not built to win or support LeBron and AD properly. Amen to that, without a doubt. LeBron is always needed. Shooters. I'm talking about not street shooters. There's a difference. Not a guy that can hit two or three in a row, then miss five in a row, then hit one, and then hit miss one. And then, no, 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 no. LeBron is always needed a knockdown shooter on his team. Y'all remember Shane Battier. Y'all remember Mike Miller. You remember, uh, 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 oh, my goodness, uh, Kyle uh, Coover. Is that what his name? Coover? Coover. Uh, he's always needed those guys that can shoot the basketball. That when you leave them open, by eight times out of ten, it's going down. We didn't have that this year. The one shooter that we always that we had, he didn't play. And I don't know if that's because that's a defensive liability. I don't know what why didn't Ben McLemore get some more time? I don't know if because he they I, I, I mean I I don't know. I I know he's not known as a great defender, but I don't know if he's uh yeah, exactly. Mo, Mo Williams too. Exactly, Chris. I don't know uh Ben McLemore to have a reputation of being a bad defender. Okay, so I, I don't know why he didn't get more, more run. I don't know why. That's just a little question of to me. In order to move forward, here's here's number one. While y'all hating on LeBron, please tell me that y'all understand that this is be next year will be year 19. Okay, y'all act like y'all act like okay. Come on now, 18 years. Come on now, the kid been playing basketball since. High school, I mean, good Lord. All the rare and tear on them, them knees and that foot. And that is a wonder that he lasted this long at this level that he's on. There has never been an athlete on this high of a level in basketball <clears throat> than LeBron James. Michael Jordan wasn't like this. Kobe played, but Kobe was not the same Kobe. Uh, he just had the respect 
he still had that killer mentality and and he was gonna shoot enough to to kill you you know Kobe had 60 points but he shot 54 shots <laughs> you know what I, i'm just saying you know it is what it is <laughs> lebron james is still a top i mean what uh he's still a top six or seven player in the league <clears throat> See what I'm saying? And these guys are still, he still, oh, <laughs> Gary said he got Roy's in him. I, I don't know. You know, I, I ain't seen too many basketball players play on this type of level this old. 36, 37. Jordan was 36 and 37 years old, was still at the top of his game. He still was. Uh, you know, that's why they won the championships at the end. Moses wasn't that great, Tavis, and, and later in his in his life. Moses wasn't like that. Moses wasn't like that. Uh, it ain't been too many guys that could be on this high level, you know, all NBA level, than him at this age. Uh, so we're going to year 19 next year. <clears throat> we got to understand LeBron is not the Cleveland, Miami. He uh, Cleveland or Miami LeBron. He's not that. He, at this point in his career, he is a great number two. But yeah, I said it. LeBron James is a, compl at this point, is a great number, well, I ain't going to say a number. He's a great complimentary player. He still can get you 25 a game. He still can get you almost 10 rebounds a game. He still is capable of leading the league in assists. That's how good he is still. But if you're looking for the – and keep in mind, y'all, before he got hurt, let's just be realistic. This is the Big Time Show podcast. Let's be realistic. Before he got hurt, he was the front runner for MVP. Y'all forgot? Before he hurt his ankle, everybody was saying – he was the front runner for MVP. It wasn't Curry. Curry went crazy in the last two to two months or so. Giannis, it wasn't Giannis. It wasn't Harden. Harden was trying to figure it out. It wasn't Durant. Durant was hurt. Uh, it wasn't Dane. Dane was up there talking, uh, I mean, in the conversation. But, but LeBron was the front runner for the MVP before he got hurt. So we're not talking about a, a raggedy, you know, basketball player by no means. We're talking about a guy that is still capable of giving you 20-plus points a night, almost double-digit assists, and very close in rebounds. He still can do that easily. He's a complimentary piece now. He needs help. And he ain't going to find the help in Anthony Davis. Let me go on and tell y'all that now. Because of what y'all been hearing and what I done seen, Anthony Davis is not, is not if he's going to be hurt. Well, Anthony Davis is when. It, it, it's sad. As young as he is, this guy is a walking injury liability for any franchise. He was hurt in New Orleans. I should have brought the stats up since this is the podcast show, but I may have to do that later on. He's never played a full season. He misses minimum 20-plus games every single year. He was hurt his rookie year. He was hurt his second year. He was hurt oh, his third year. He missed the whole – he's been – he just stay hurt. He hurt. So because he's always hurt, and maybe and, – and, and I'm not saying – and I'm not blaming him. He He's a big guy, and some of these big guys over the years, some of the – exactly, Tabby, he was hurt at Kentucky. I mean, good Lord, the man just got out of high school. He was hurt at Kentucky. Thank you, Tavis. I mean, the guy ain't never been been right. So he may be just one of these big guys like so many others have. 
that when you big like that, you stay hurt all the time. Look at Joel and B. Always hurt. Y'all, if some of y'all too young, Bill Walton, who in the Hall of Fame, but my goodness, I mean, geez, stayed hurt. Every now and then you'll get these freaks of nature that, that survive. Tim Duncan, you know, big guy. David Robinson, those guys pretty much for their career was healthy. Uh, Akeem pretty much was healthy his his whole career. Uh, uh, Shaq, before he started, you know, really getting all the weight on him, Shaq was a freak. He hardly stayed hurt. That may, I, mean, say, I mean, he hardly was hurt. These guys, I mean, but it don't happen. And the Davis, I mean, since he was 20 and 19 and 21, the, the kids, they hurt too much. So you can't depend on them. I say it all that to say this. You cannot depend on them. So I got an old man, basketball terms, and LeBron, who's going into his ninth year, and a guy who always stays hurt, and Anthony Davis. And that's what we're going to run out there with next year. We got to have a third piece. That's what I'm saying. We got to have. And I ain't talking about a complimentary piece either. I'm not talking about a complimentary piece, even though they will have to kind of teeter down their game to accommodate LeBron and AD when they get back. I need a guy. I need a guy. I need a real guy. I need a guy that possibly can come over to this team and they'll say, okay, we're going to turn the keys over to you, even though we know that's not going to happen. I need a guy that that is kind of like James Harden. I'm not saying James Harden to L.A. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying about that is when James went to Brooklyn, everybody knows James Harden is, can walk and breathe and close his eyes and score 33 points a game. He's just that gifted. He's just that good. But he toned his game down when he came to Brooklyn to let Kyrie and Kevin Durant still do what they do. But when you look at James' stat line, James would have 22 points, 15 assists, by seven, about six or seven rebounds. But when need be, James Harden can drop you off for 40. At any given moment, he can completely take over. Okay? Uh, Oh, uh, Coleman, Coleman, who's a Laker hater. There you go. He said, he said, we need more than a third. You need a whole bench. Lakers are done. Stick a fork in them and leave off your old late show memories. See what I'm saying? See? And, and the truth of the matter is, hey, that very well may be true. That very well may be true. Uh, it all depends on what the bench is. You know, I agree. The Lakers made a mistake last year by trading or, or letting both Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee go. One of them should have stayed. The true other truth of the matter is, even though he wanted more, just a little more money, they should have kept on to Danny Green, too. Danny Green is a defender, plus he can knock shots down. That's what we needed. Pope, horrible. Caruso, horrible. Schroeder, horrible. Uh, the L. DeBarge, old Kuzma. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to stop calling him by his name. I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Chris, go on, take over there. I, I'm not going to call. I'm not going to call. Uh, uh, I, I ain't going to go on, Chris. You, you, you can go on check Kuzma. I ain't gonna do that, you know. I did think he was a part of the of the DeBarge family. L L DeBarge, James DeBarge, you know. When you know, uh, when he was when he was uh right here when he put his blonde hair up, I thought that I was seeing a reincarnation of the fabulous ones. So y'all don't know nothing about that. That's wrestling tag team here, a famous tag team here in Memphis, Tennessee. Steve Kern and Stan Lane, the fabulous ones. I thought that for a minute that Kyle Coon, when he had his blonde hair, was the third cousin of the nature boy, Ric Flair. I thought it was. I thought it was. 
I'm, but Chris, you go on check him. I'm not checking him. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, when he had his black hair, I thought that you know maybe uh, that he was uh, a member of the Osman family, Donnie Osman, and you know all that kind. Of, y'all, some of y'all will be too young to realize that. So, but uh, you know, I, I'm not gonna check him, Chris. You go, that Chris, go ahead, go ahead and, and do that. You know, I, when when Kuzma walked in the game, it looked like he had barred the, the blouse that he wore from Catlin Jenner. I said Catlin Jenner. In other words, Bruce Jenner. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna check him though, Chris. I, I need you to to go ahead and handle that for me. You know, Chris, I got my I got my designated checker here. Yeah, he, he see there he is. That Chris come. Here he come. He called him Becky with the good hair. That's I, I didn't say that. Chris said that. Chris said that. Uh, you know, I, I I I that's what I saw. I don't know where I we the bench is kind of. It's questionable, but I need a third dog, and I need a dog that can. I need a. I need him at point guard. I don't need him at the two guard. I need a point guard dog. That's what I need. And on that note, I might as well dream. Oh, E. Kush, Amen to that man. I agree with this. This was a big loss. If you know basketball, then you understand what he could say. That is the the God's own is true. Rondo, losing Rondo was huge. I'm not saying we, whatever. See, if the Lakers would have got the way that we playing now and with the injuries, we wouldn't have beat Denver. We, we wouldn't have beat Denver. I don't think so. With AD being, you know, trying to come back for game one or two, Jokic would have would have lit you know would have destroyed him because he can't move. So I'm not, you know, I, I don't think we would have been able to handle Denver anyway. No way. Uh, so we I don't think we would have made it. It was just I thought we had enough to get past Phoenix though. I thought LeBron would come back and do what he you know turned into uh, an aggressive LeBron, but he didn't do that until the second half last night. But we got. I gotta have a. I'm. 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 I'm I, I can dream, right? Yeah. I. I. I see you, Chris. I, I can dream, right? I can dream, right? Let me go ahead and say this. That probably won't happen. But there's a man over there in Portland that has to be. That is frustrated with the Portland Trailblazers. I ain't gonna call his name. Y'all know who he is. Uh, there's a man over there that realizes he cannot win in Portland. He cannot win. I, 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 he cannot win. They're not going to do enough to bring him the help that he needs, and he's wasting some good prime years. If you looked at this guy, I ain't going to call his name. Y'all know who he is. There's a guy he put on his Instagram post. He quoted Nipsey Hussle last night. You know, he 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 he, he just... And he's been down hard saying that he's going to stay in Portland. And I get it. If you want to follow the Russell Westbrook trail to, to the Hall of Fame, so be it. The Russell Westbrook tra- uh, uh, the trail to the Hall of Fame is this. You're going to have incredible numbers, but you'll never win nothing. Russell Westbrook has chosen this route. He don't want to play with nobody. He he, he said, I'm going to do it, my, you know, and you ain't going to never win nothing. If that's the route that you want to go, I, hey, we'll see you in, in, in Springfield when it's time for the Hall of Fame. But I'll go ahead and say his name. Dame Lillard. Look, uh, if I was on the phone, if I had his number, not me. LeBron James needs right now to just test the waters out and talk to Dame Lillard, just see where his head is. And the way the players do right now, the players pretty much dictate whether they're going to leave or not. I mean, it's just that simple. They'll make it happen. The, the NBA is not like the NFL. The NBA players, when they get irritated and ticked off and say, I'm gone, they're gone. And and they and they get traded. James Harden, they, they James Harden, 
showed his butt and, and walked straight out of Houston. When Houston said, we're not trading him. You see where he is now in Brooklyn, right? Everybody that gets a little ear, and the Davis, matter of fact, and the Davis, uh, uh, and the Davis has, has just, you know, he, he walked his way out of New Orleans by acting the fool. What happened? He got traded to the team that he wanted to come to. James Harden went to the team that he wanted to go to. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's a guy in Portland who's upset. And I'm not saying that he's just going to come to L.A. I'm saying LeBron James need to be on the phone this morning to Dame Lillard and just get a pulse and see where this man head is at. Because if Dame Lillard says, or even give the inclination, that he want he wants out of Portland, the Los Angeles Lakers should be at the front line trying to get Dame Lillard. The New York Knicks need to be in at Dame Lillard's doorstep. There are a whole lot of things. Miami Heat would be a perfect place for Dame Lillard. Dame need to come out of Portland. I'm that's all I'm saying. Dame need to come out. He need to come out. And if you put Dane, LeBron, and AD together, and, and of course, if they're healthy at the proper time, show me a team. And I know the bench got to be there, but you'll, you'll find the complimentary players because everybody going to want to come to L.A. anyway if that will happen. Well, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, Cole. But but at this point, LeBron knows one thing about him. He's a smart basketball player. He should know that he cannot carry the load. That's why he got AD in the first place. And he should also know that AD can't carry the load because he can't stay on the court. And if we're talking about winning the championship, which LeBron James is only playing for that, then you got to hurry up and go ahead and, and get some help. And I need a dog there. You should, you should, he should, and the Lakers should spare no expense. Somebody that said something in the chat earlier, what should they do? Look, if you got a chance to get Dame Lillard, sign Schroeder, sign Carruth. Look, who, whoever's on the roster can go. We'll make the rest of it happen after that. I, I'm serious. I, I, I'm just telling you the truth. If you got a chance to get this, this guy, Cause see, LeBron. Here, here's another thing. See, we we got to find another dog because LeBron ain't got but what one, two more years. Somebody got to be there to help AD out. I mean, if we gonna keep the ball rolling, somebody got to be there to help AD out. We need to go on lock up a, another dog now. In other words, what I'm trying to tell y'all, but let's blow it up. Let's go on, blow all Kuzma, go on trade. Look, put Kuzma in there in the trade package. Get him out of here. We tried. We 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 thought he was gonna be ready. He ain't ready. Get him on out of here. Get him on out. Schroeder. Uh, get him on out. Uh, Pope. I love Pope's defense. I love Caruso defense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chris said the pretty boy package. We are gonna send you the the pretty boy package. The pretty the, the highlight of the pretty boy package is Kyle Kuzma. That's that's part A of the pretty boy package. All right. Uh, we gonna send we we'll, we will sign and send Schroeder to you also. That's the junkyard dog package. Uh, we will also send Markeith Morris, who ain't hit a shot all year either. See, I, I ain't nobody safe with me. This is my team. I I I talk about the way I feel like. Markeith Morris, give me his twin brother, his other twin brother, the one that can hit some shots. Give give me him. Bring him to, bring him on L.A. We need to sign Montrez. Montrez is a free agent this year. I want Montrez back, and I think we ticked him off. 
Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if Montrez get on down either. I, I, yeah, Tavis, that's why I say he's that's the junkyard dog package. Uh, you know, <laughs> I said you get the pretty boy package, the junkyard dog package. Uh, you know, Marquis Morris, uh, another guy who spent more time making sure his beard is nicely oiled and his beard is not, you know, is, is straight hair and picked out superbly. Uh, you know, all these guys, right? Cole, Cole, I see y'all thought his name. Yeah. Yeah, that's before AD got hurt. Yeah, when we went up 2-1 against Phoenix and everybody was playing, I said, oh, yeah, we back now. Oh, yeah, I said that. I said we were going to beat them. <clears throat> we just can't act like AD didn't go down. And, and then, come on now. This 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 was not the Lakers. This, this, they beat us, but this was not the Lakers. I, I give Phoenix credit. This is not the Lakers, but they 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 did what they supposed to. Yeah, exactly. Right, say film. I hate. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, cut. Hey, Tav, yeah. Somebody, you know, he makes sure his beard is all properly and nicely shaped. See, all these pretty boys, you know, I I can't. I I, I you know. Uh, yeah, we need. Yeah, you, well, I'm not ready to scrap it all. I'm just saying you need to look down the road. We got some free agents. Montrez Harrell, we need to sign him. Because Powell Gasol, you know, I mean, come on now. Not Powell, but Mark Gasol. I mean, come on. He got to go. We got we got to have something. Mark Gasol won't be with us next year. So he got to go. So we got to have. We don't have no big man. Drummond, of course, is staying. Uh, uh, we need to get Montrez. I want to keep Schroeder. I'm going to be honest with you. I want to keep him. But if I got a chance to sign some of these guys with the opportunity to get somebody like Dane, I'm just throwing it out there. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Because Dane's attitude is, I don't need no help. And he's never, this is the first time he's ever come out talking like this. You know, if you go to his Instagram page, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is the first time in all these years. He's frustrated. I want to know how frustrated really is he. LeBron James need to be on the phone. Just like everybody else be on the phone. Everybody else teaming up and all that. That's what that's what that's what Harden did, what K did, Kyrie. Man, come on down here. Just act the fool. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see. I, I see you, Coleman. I see what you're saying. I, I see. I ain't going to I ain't, I ain't. No, we're, we're, the mediocrity may leave when LeBron leaves, because see. That's why I'm saying we need to have a third dog because I'm convinced Andy Davis can't stay healthy. So even when LeBron retires, Andy Davis is going to be there. And if he go down, who there to pick it up? We got You see what I'm saying? We have to get a dog now. And while the fire's a little hot, why, and, and, and E. Kush, I see you there. Coleman is just a hater. Cole. Let me introduce you to my my brother here. Coleman is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. See, right there, that that's really all I need to say. See what I'm saying? I don't have to say nothing else. And all of us Cowboy fans here. So you already look. There you go. So of course, if he hate the, the greatest NFL franchise, then of course he hate the, the greatest NBA franchise. He's a, he's a Grizzly fan. And, and you see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? He so so of course he hate the Lakers. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So uh, just let, let him. You, I, he, 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 he's a good guy. I, I mean, I love my brother, but he, you know, he, he, you know, I, I, that's all I got to say. You know, Dame is 31. I, Dame is in his prime, brother Gary. I don't care what he is. <laughs> exactly. Dame Dame Lillard is is his is is. Oh, here come my coach. Here come my coach from South Carolina. Here come my coach from South Carolina who told me. I got to give Coach Breed love. Here's his props. Coach Breed love told me that the Lakers are through. He's a hater too, but he did tell me that even when we went up two games to one, Coach Breed love told me, don't get hyped. He said, y'all going to lose. He told me that. Coach Breed love, you were right. We got a brain beat out. So, 
We got to blow the, I, you know, I need a dog. I ne That's all I'm saying. Keep your mind, keep your, the Lakers usually get their man. Whoever that man is, the Lakers usually get their man. That's all I'm going to say. And I, am, I ain't talking about this dang. It's going to be somebody because it just only makes basketball sense. We got to get a third dog. I'm talking about a killer. I ain't talking about a complimentary piece. I need a, I need a, a dog that can turn into a cop. Beautiful, Gary Bryant. Beautiful, 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 Gary Bryant. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, Gary Bryant. Beautiful. That 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 right there. See, that just excited me. Y'all see it up there? Yes, sir. And I know he's not a point. And see, sorry, y'all. I'm a I'm full of grin. I need a point guard. Coach Bree Love, you just came in late. I just threw it out. I don't know if you've been watching, but Dane is frustrated this morning. Put it on his Instagram post. Uh, and it's his first time wondering what he do, what does he have to do, essentially. But you know, he, he's getting frustrated. I said, Coach, I said, Coach, that if, if I was LeBron James, I would be on the phone this morning with Dame Lillard just to get a pulse to see how frustrated he really is. And Dame has always said, you know, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here in Portland. Everybody come play with me, but ain't nobody coming to Portland. Nobody ain't coming to Portland. It's just, it's just kind of like since Coleman, if you still on here, let me tell y'all something. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee. We got a legitimate dog right here in Memphis, Tennessee that plays for the Memphis Grizzlies and John Morant. A dog. I'm talking about no question the killer. I'm scared he's not going to stay in Memphis because in order for him to win, He, 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 we, we, no free agent is not. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> Nobody is not coming to smart. It is not coming to small market teams. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I don't care how much money they get. Memphis, Memphis will have money because nobody don't want to come here to take it. Nobody ain't lining up to say, "Hey, I want to come to Memphis." And play for with John Morant. Nobody ain't doing that. What you usually get is these big fish in these small ponds, and then they'll say, "Well, I got to go." You see what I'm saying? Or, or if a small market, you'll get a big fish in a small market. He'll go to another small market and make it big. You see what I'm saying? I'm scared that Memphis is not gonna be able to keep John Morant, even though they're gonna be able to offer him the max money. But Ja want to win. You see what I'm saying? And Ja, ja is the type that want to win. And and I don't know, you know, Memphis, we got to, you know, Memphis got to do, got to get this man something just to keep him interested in this city. If not, I wouldn't be surprised if Ja Morant look at New Orleans and say, hey, Zion, y'all, you remember when we played? together in high school and on the all-star team. Remember how we dominated? Let's see if we can do that in New Orleans together. I'm coming to New Orleans. Because Zion, you're going to dominate. We can turn New Orleans into a, it's a big name city, you know, it's a small market. We can turn New Orleans into the capital of the world. Can you imagine how many more TV appearances New Orleans would get if Ja Morant was with, ja, was with Zion Williamson, man? I mean, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just saying. But when it comes to L.A., New York, teams want to go to the big market. You see what I'm saying? Teams got money. The Knicks, they said the Knicks got $75 million to spend. You can go to New York and be a superstar. If you're a star, you, you, they already got some type of uh, balance there. I'm saying they already got a foundation there. You can go down. All they need is just a start and say, hey, I'm on my way. And with Julius Rounder there and Toppin, uh, uh, the kid from Duke, the little point guard, you know, he ain't no superstar, but he, he's solid. D-Rose got another year in him. 
you get a go-to guy to go there. Look out. Eric Cush, look, E. Cush said, look, Dallas is considered a small market team. Let me put this up right here. Dallas is considered a small market team. Hey, Tony, I'm sorry. I ain't checked nobody up. Hey, everybody on pod, man. I'm sorry. What's going on? I'm sorry. I ain't peeped y'all out. But listen, Dallas is a small market team, okay? But there are going to be some guys that will want to play with Luca, just because of the way he plays. It's going to be some guys that want to play with Luka Doncic. I'm serious. Just like it was when everybody wanted to play with LeBron back in the day, I mean, all these guys, because they wanted a championship, it's going to be the same way. Like, why do you think everybody wanted to go to Brooklyn? I mean, come on now. Why everybody want to go to Brooklyn? Because they want to win. They want to win. I'm telling you that 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 the new generation is getting ready to take over. And whether we like it or not, especially as old school players, the time of you staying in one franchise and, and battling out and say, I'm going to, you know, the Kobe Bryant who played for 20 years, that day is over with. These guys are teaming up. They got each other number. They group texting. They vacation together. They play in the Olympics, just like you're going to see in a couple more weeks. They're going to play in the Olympics together. They're going to want to get together, and they want to win championship together. It ain't like it was back in the day. It is what it is. And if you're a small market team like Portland, and you ain't gave Dame no help all these years to where he can at least get out the first round, what else is Dame supposed to think, y'all? What 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 else does Dame? Dame can't even get out the first round. As great as he is, he can't get out the first round. Sooner or later, you're gonna stop busting your head against the wall because it's gonna bleed eventually. Dame ain't stupid. Dame knows that if now, this is all predicated upon if he wants to win. If he wants to win, he has no choice but to say, I gotta get out of Portland. And I got to go somewhere. Why I got a chance to win. Now, this is the reason why you need to stack up. Because let me tell y'all something. Uh, it's probably going to start happening this year. Let me tell y'all something. If you don't stack up teams, the Brooklyn Nets are about to win the next three championships. Somebody put up Dame Lillard is 31 years old. The Brooklyn Nets I think it's going to happen this year now. I think it's going to happen. Milwaukee is going to have something to say, but I I just think when it's all said and done, Brooklyn is going to beat Milwaukee, and after that, it's, it's, it's a cakewalk. Denver or Utah cannot beat Brooklyn. Denver, one, Denver or Utah is going to come out the West. It's going to be Denver or Utah, in my opinion. If Brooklyn get past Milwaukee, Brooklyn, Brooklyn will make the final. And I can't see Utah beating Brooklyn, and I can't see Denver beating Brooklyn. So this is the reason why if you want to win, this hanging around the franchise and all that kind of stuff, you ain't going to win nothing. All that you're going to be satisfied with is an all-star appearance, and you're going to be satisfied with making the all-NBA team, and that's it. You are not going to win the championship with Brooklyn now. They are about to take over. For the next two to three years, the Brooklyn Nets, barring injury, are about to take over. You better stack the deck because they have. They have. They really have. I'm, I'm serious. They, they don't stack the deck. So whoever... I, I, you know, I hope Dane, I'm, I'm looking right now. My God, imagine, I'm going to throw, I'm gonna, you know, it ain't got to be the Lakers. Imagine Dame Lillard with the Los Angeles Clippers. How about that one? How, how, how about that one? Forget the Los Angeles Lakers. Imagine Dame Lillard, if you want to play in the big city, L.A. is L.A. Imagine Dame Lillard with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Now, Lord have mercy. 
Huh? They ain't, they ain't got to get out of there. It's time. It's time. It, it's, it's time for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, if you want to win, the, the NBA is, 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 is almost like a dictatorship. And I can already see the Brooklyn Nets are formulating a godfather type, Don Coleone type monopoly over there. They done stacked the deck. They have. It is what it is. And no sense of crying about it. You better do what you got to do to try to match up to them. Or it's going to be a cakewalk. I'm hoping that Dame, just like John, I, you know, I like the Grizzlies. I'm a Laker fan, but I like the Grizzlies. I do. They hometown team. I love John Morant. Love them. I just hope we can keep them. See, New Orleans, New Orleans ain't going to have to worry about that with Zion. Zion ain't going nowhere. Because Zion knows that somebody's going to want to come play with him. You see what I'm saying? That's why Zion don't have to go nowhere. Ja don't have that same sentence. Ja ain't standing. Ja, ja can't say, I know somebody's going to come to Memphis and play with me. No, 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 no. No, Ja, Ja, ja as great as Ja is, he can't say that. Zion can say that. Somebody's going to want to come play with Zion. Right there in New Orleans. Great city. Uh, Luca. Somebody will want to play with Luca. No question. And, and, and let's throw this out. Let's throw this out. Uh, Luca. Luca, uh, you know. You know, I, I wouldn't think so, but who says he got to stay in Dallas? See, the Brooklyn Nets are scary, y'all. I mean, they they are a scary basketball team. They really are. And that that it ain't never been nothing like that. Now, now you know all these big threes and all that. There has never been a big three like Brooklyn. Never. Not those three guys. Those three guys, they are lethal. There have been some good, you know, Wade, Bosch, and LeBron was, was a lethal big three. Garnett, Pierce, and Allen, Ray Allen, they were good. Magic, Kareem, Worthy, they were good. Bird, McHale, Parrish, yeah, they were good. It ain't, it ain't been nothing like this, though. No, 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 no. Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, is, that's, a, that's a different big three. And if you're talking about beating that team four out of seven, you better have some 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 horses to go. So I, I, I'm saying they, they're, they're single-handedly about to change this whole NBA because if you really want to win, you are going to have to team up to get it done. It's just the truth. If you want to win. I see you guys say Kawhi may want out the clip jump. Coleman said, dang, leave point. I guarantee he's going to the East. I don't know about that, Coleman. The reason why I say because these players, you know, for a team that say the organization got power, these superstar players dictate where they're going. And the David said, I'm going to play with the Lakers. He ended up at the Lakers. James Harden this year said, I'm getting out of Houston. I'm going to play with Brooklyn. And everybody's saying, like, what? Brooklyn? Oh, my God. What jersey you got on? And keep in mind, the organization got all the power. The organization has all the power. And yet these guys still go where they want to go. So Dame has that type of pool. I don't know. If he want to go to the East, he, he might. But these guys got a lot of power. I, I ain't never seen players who are under contract dictate and tell the team where they going. It used to be that the organization trades you to the place wherever they wanted to. I that, that don't happen no more. So I'm just saying the Lakers got to find a number three. If they talking about winning now, they got to find a dame like Leonard, 
a Dame Lillard light. I ain't say Dame. I I would I, I would love to have him, but it got to be somebody like that. Somebody that's a natural born killer that can take over and destroy folks. That's what I like. I you you got you got to see, you got to. We got to have it if we talking about. If we don't have it, then we'll be getting ready. You know, we'll make the playoff next year and, and get bounced out probably in the second round next year. We got to do something. We got to do something. I, 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 LeBron has to find some shooters. We got to find it quick. The shooters that we got now, horrible. I'm sick of, uh, I'm sick of Kyle Kuzma though. I'm, I'm, I'll close with that. I'm sick of Kyle Kuzma. Yeah. Yeah. The players make the players dictate where they're going as he could. Keep in mind, y'all. Look, 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 just last year. Was it last year? Kawhi Leonard messed everybody up. Nobody saw what he was doing. Kawhi Leonard was so all right, all right coach. Take it easy, man. Ka- Kawhi Leonard was so powerful that he ended up getting Paul George out of where he was and said, Look, if you don't give me Paul George. I'm not coming to the Clippers. That's how powerful the players are. So Kawhi had the whole organization in his hand. Like, if you want me, I'll come. But this is what I got to have. He pulled Paul George out of a whole city and then signed both of them. That's how much power they got. Dame Lillard has that same power. It's just about a, it's just a matter if he want to use it. Dame Lillard will go anywhere he want to go, and I'm just hoping that he's frustrated enough. Actually, Coleman, I disagree with you on that. I disagree with you on that. A lot of people love to blame LeBron for the big three. The big the big three actually started with Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen going to Boston to join Paul Pierce. And LeBron could not beat them. And LeBron got smart right then and there and said, there's no way that I can beat those guys. What'd he do? Went to Miami. It was Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen. That was the original problem. That was the problem. LeBron couldn't get out the East. He knew he had to do something different. That's why he went to Miami, because they know they couldn't beat. Dwayne Wade knew he couldn't beat Boston. Chris Bosh, we didn't even bring him in the conversation. He knew Toronto couldn't beat him. They joined fours together to take down Boston. And they just took – they and then they took over the mountain. Everybody said, we cannot. But see, the difference between Gary – Gary, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you on that. Is this the reason why? Because those guys pretty much, with the exception of Walton, was drafted. The Lakers drafted James Worthy. The Lakers drafted Magic Johnson. The Lakers, you know, and back then, let's just be honest, back then, all them guys in the 70s and 80s, I mean, all these guys were legit. That was a superstar just about on every team. It's just that the Lakers were drafted. The Lakers drafted Byron Scott. The Lakers drafted Michael Cooper. The Celtics drafted Bird, McHale, Parrish, and then got DJ where they signed DJ Fred. I'm saying it's different back then. But but LeBron, the, Kevin Garnett, everybody forget about that. Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen stacked the deck. And everybody adjusted to them. And then it's just been a trail ever since. Now LeBron and Bosch and Wade took that torch from Boston. And then everybody had to try to beat them. Exactly. Walter was traded uh, to Boston. Exactly. And he was older then and he was hurt also, Gary. So nobody put too much value in Walter because he stayed hurt. He was hurt just like AD is. You see what I'm saying? So, and Boston and, and the Brooklyn Nets have done essentially what Miami Heat did a few years ago with getting LeBron and uh, Bosch with Wade. That's exactly what it's looked like. 
It wasn't LeBron that started this. No, no, no. It was Garnett and Allen, Ray Allen, that started this. LeBron just finished this with Wade. They, they did something, took less money and say, wait a minute now. Everybody forgot about that. Everybody say LeBron and Bob's like, wow, it's just unfair. The guys at their prime. And they, why they do that? Everybody just forgot a couple years ago, Garnett and Ray Allen came to Boston and they prime. <laughs> Everybody forgot about that. And destroyed people. Won a championship. Come on now. Everybody forgot about it. It wasn't LeBron that started. He just finished it. And LeBron took that mentality to Los Angeles. He knew that when he came, when he came, he knew guys were going to come. He knew AD was coming. And he needed to get somebody else. Because like I said before, the big picture is, is the Brooklyn Nets. And if you ain't get, if you ain't stacking the deck, you're not going to win. If you will, if you want to win a championship, you got to stack the deck now. It is what it is. This is where we are. We need a whole look, yeah. You need a whole Eastern or Western Conference All-Star team as your starting five to beat the Brooklyn Nets. I'm serious. As great as Jokic is, Jokic ain't gonna win nothing. He's great. As great as Steph Curry is. I don't care if Clay Thompson come or not. When Clay get back, uh, uh, Draymond Green, Clay, and Steph, they're not going to beat the Brooklyn Nets. That's not going to happen. Lord have mercy. I ain't even threw that in. Oh, my God. Let, let me, let me, ooh, let me go on in because I'll be all day. Y'all know Steph Curry contract is coming to an end, too, right? Mm. Oh, my. I know he'll go on the state war at hard, but mm, okay. Mm. What if Steph want to win? Ooh -wee. He ain't going to win to go on state no more. It ain't going to happen. What if Steph want to win and try to take down Brooklyn? Ooh -wee. <laughs> uh, ooh -wee. What if Steph decide I got to get out of Golden State? We okay. They want to win. Look, everybody want to win the championship now. Guy like Steph, uh, LeBron, you know these guys. They want to win a championship, and and the Brooklyn Nets are gonna be waiting on folks. Like, okay, y'all want it? Come see us. And if you come into the to the fight with some, you know, with a decent or you know a good team or you know a. You know, you know, good players, you're going to win one or two games in the series, maybe. But if you want to win, you better have some. It'll, it'll be almost just like the movie when, when Captain America was all by himself. And all of a sudden, he heard something in the ear. And all of a sudden, here come all the Avengers through those little portals. You you just about to have an Avenger team to beat. <laughs> you got to have an Avenger team to beat the Brooklyn Nets. You, you, you that, that's what it's gonna take. You gotta have. You gotta have. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because you gotta have that call. LeBron need to be calling. Yeah, you, you, you know, you, you know, you got, you got, you gotta have somebody. The Brooklyn Nets are Thanos. That that's that's the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets are Thanos. That's who they are. And Captain America is Captain America. The greatest Avenger, as they used to say. The greatest Avenger of all time. He, 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 he's the first, the first Avenger. Let me tell you something. Captain America can't, can't beat Thanos by himself. He need Doctor Strange. He need Spider. He need the Hulk. He need all of them. That's where we are now. But I forget. I'm going to close with this with a little controversy. I better stop talking about Captain America. Because you ain't going to like me when I say this, but now, now folks don't like Captain America now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
they 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 used to like Captain America, but now there's a new Captain America in in Marvel Marvel Comics stock then went down now. <laughs> uh, they don't there's a new Captain America now. He, he's on the he's on the Disney Channel with the with the Winter Soldier. You know, uh, his name is Falcon now, and he's Falcon is wearing Captain America uniform, and now everybody don't like Captain America with life for for seventy five years. Now all of a sudden, nobody don't like Captain America <laughs> no more. That's another whole podcast on in itself. You know, yeah, I'm just telling the truth, y'all. Yeah, go check it, pull it up. I want to see it, just pull it up. Y'all look at the rating. Ever since Captain America in the Avengers last movie, ever since Captain America got old, when he got old and he was talking to the Falcon and he handed him that shield and he told him, It's yours now. A lot of Marvel stock went down right there. <laughs> Boy, y'all don't like me. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't like me. I'm just telling you. A lot of people decided right then that they will not watch the next Avenger movie because of who Captain America is. Y'all, y'all don't like it. I'm 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 gone. I holler at y'all. Hey, thank y'all for thank y'all for hanging with me this morning. Hey, I, I appreciate it. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you know, tune in tomorrow. I'll be with y'all at 3 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. 3 o'clock p.m. tomorrow for the Big Time Show podcast. I will be talking Cowboy Talk tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning at 3 p.m. Uh, Pie Bean, y'all mad at me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, everybody that's on Pie Bean. Y'all mad at me? Y'all still hanging with me? I ain't talking to y'all all day. Tony, I see you. Uh, I don't know who y'all, but I'm just telling the truth, y'all. Y'all see, y'all don't want the truth. When Falcon got that, <laughs> when the when the Falcon got that shield, and y'all been seeing Falcon wear Captain America uniform, cause he, the, the captain turned it over to him. But a lot of y'all. Didn't like that, cause well, y'all know why you don't like it. You know, y'all 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 didn't like that. Y'all y'all didn't like that. Some you know, let's say something there. Let me go on end it out. Let me just go and hit the home run. Some of y'all laughing at me. Some of y'all still ain't seen the Black Panther. <laughs> y'all done seen everything else. Y'all look when. <laughs> When the movie came out, when we was able to go to movie theaters, some of y'all stood in line to get the Spider-Man tickets. Some of y'all stood in line to get the Avenger tickets. Y'all stood in line to get the Thor tickets. You know, had to get them a day in advance. Y'all, y'all went to get to see the Hulk. Y'all saw the Hulk. Y'all, y'all front line. Y'all, y'all was there. Y'all went to see Iron Man. Every movie he had. Make sure you some of y'all saw it twice. Y'all, y'all, y'all saw all it. When Black Panther came out, y'all say I watch it on DVD. <laughs> I ain't going to the movie theater. I ain't going to the movie theater. I ain't going to watch Black Panther. I thought Black Panther was in the Marvel. I thought Black Panther was in the Marvel comic book family. Why didn't y'all go? Why didn't y'all go see Black Panther? <laughs> as when soon as Captain America, man, and, and this is fantasy land. This is how bad it is for some folks. This is fantasy land. When Captain America and Avengers in Endgame. Gave Falcon that shield. Your love for Captain America just oozed out your body. <laughs> I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Y'all, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. You know, 
Pie bean, don't get mad. It's just the truth. Exactly. He could just say it. Look, he could just say it. Black Panther 2 is coming this year. His sister is taking it up. Yeah, I saw that. Let's see. Let's let let let's see how many are gonna line up. You know, to see Black Panther. He is a part of the of the of the Marvel comic book family, right? Why why ain't why ain't folks going? <laughs> exactly, Chris. That's what he said. Captain America. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on say it. I'm just gonna go on say it. I'm through. Captain America, a black man. <sighs> I'm gone. Uh, God bless y'all. Listen, if you want to support the show, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna support the show now. Nah, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just calling like it. I'm not trying to. I'm just, I'm just stating the obvious. Okay, that's all I'm doing. If you want to support the show. Okay, cash out dollar sign the big time show. If you want to do that, that's what that's one way you can do it. Support the show. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I didn't do this. Listen, putting this here. If you want to become a premium member of the show, I didn't put it in your chat box, but write that down. Look at it. Put it right there. There it is. You can become a premium member of the show. I would appreciate your support. Pie bean. For those that are on Podbean, if you want to become a member of the show, uh, not a member, well, if you want to become a follower of the show, just follow me right now. Just go to it and follow the show. I'm, I'm, I'm This is how I am. Uh, if you want to become a patron of the show, you have a button there where you can uh, push that right now, and I would appreciate it. I'm done before I get in trouble. I I, I didn't expect to talk about comic book stuff, but I, it just dawned on me. Y'all, a lot of y'all don't like Captain America no more. Y'all. Y'all was all y'all y'all were going to buy your children the Captain America Halloween costume. Y'all ain't buying it now. Are you? <laughs> they they don't even sell it at the store no more, man. I, I, they they don't even sell Captain America costume no more. They they don't even do it no more. They, look, <laughs> I'm done. Listen, I'm gone. If you ain't too mad at me, if you're not too mad at me, you know. I'm just telling y'all the truth is what I done seen. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. The ratings done went down. I don't know if that Disney show gonna last now with, with him and the and uh the winter soldier. I I I I I don't know. I don't even know if that show gonna last. It's a great show. I don't think it's gonna last though, cause, cause Captain is because Captain America is, is now Captain America. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gone, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. And if you don't mind, before y'all go, do one thing for me. Can y'all just, if you're not too mad at me, come on now. I'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. But can you just put your hands together for me? <laughs> I'm gone, y'all. Thanks for hanging with me. Hey, Captain America, the first and greatest Avenger. <laughs> Far B, y'all ain't mad at me. If you're not mad at me, come on, hang with me. See you tomorrow at 3 p.m. This is, yes, I am. This is the Big Time Show. I ain't scared, y'all. Woo! See you tomorrow if you ain't too mad at me. See you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time for another edition of the Big Time Show. Yeah.